What's up guys, this is Josh the Gamer here coming at you with a brand new video. So today we are going to be learning about lighting in Quorum. Now, in this tutorial we are going to be learning about two different types of lighting. We're going to be learning about an ambient light and a directional light and we're going to use them both in the same scene. Because usually if you have a directional light, you're going to want an ambient light as well. So, let's get started. The first light we are going to implement is an ambient light. So, let's go ahead and get that started. Now, the first thing that you need to understand about an ambient light is that it only has a color. It doesn't have a direction nor does it have a source. It's a specific type of light that distributes light of a certain color across the entire scene equally. In some cases this will make your game look flat and stuff, but remember we have a directional light to help with that. So, first things you need to do is you need to put in two use statements one for ambient light, one for directional light the use statement for the ambient light is use libraries dot game dot graphics dot ambient light for directional light use libraries dot game dot graphics dot directional light so after that we need to create the objects for those lights Just remember, the directional light isn't going to do anything right now because we're not going to code anything for the directional light except for its object. So I'm going to say ambient light, and we're going to say, we're, we're going to call it ambient, and then directional light, and we're going to call it directional. So that should be outside your create game, outside your main, just globally inside of your class. Now, under our uh, cube here, which has a dimension, which has dimensions of 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters, and is a blue cube, we are going to go ahead and say ambient colon set color we're going to set this to a 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 and a 1 so this will make it fairly dim so if we go ahead and save that and then call the set ambient light method and pass it the ambient there we go save it again and run it we can see now that we have a very dim light on our cube and it still looks kind of flat because even without the light it'll be all a nice vibrant blue but it'll still look very flat because we don't have any directional lights so in order to add in a directional light we need to do this above our ambient light <clears throat> excuse me guys so let's go ahead and do directional and we're going to call it set direction action and we're going to pass it a x y and a z you can also pass it a vector three which is a three-dimensional vector uh, that takes in an x y and a z um, it's very similar to that of the vector two that we learned about when we were doing our 2d stuff especially with physics and things uh, is if you remember the vector two takes in an x and a y so set direction and then we're going to pass it we're going to pass it to the, the direction that we want it to face in 
So in this case, let's have it face towards uh, 1 on the x, negative 4 on the y, and negative 3 on the z. So 1, negative 4, negative 3. Now the biggest thing to remember about this x, y, and z is that we're saying, okay, we want the directional light to point towards the coordinates that we give it. Alright, so then after that, we need to pass it a color, so directional, colon, set color, and we're going to give it an RGBA, red, green, blue, alpha, if you don't know what RGBA means, a red, red green, blue, alpha value of 0 0.4, or no, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, so 0 0.8 on the R, G, and B channels, and then a 1 on the alpha, so that way it's complete, so that way the color is completely opaque. Put that closing parenthesis on there, and then now we need to add it to the scene. So there's no such thing as a set directional light, because there can be multiple directional lights, whereas with an ambient light, there can only be one. So add, we're going to add directional, and there we go. Let's go ahead now and save that, and then we are going to run it now. And there we go. As you can see now, one face is a brighter blue than the other. It's very cool. Uh, to be able to do that and what we can do is let's go ahead and rotate and rotate the cube a little bit now rotating the cube works a little bit differently than uh, rotating a 2d drawable and I'll teach you how to do this in a in a later tutorial but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and have that rotated, and then it doesn't want to run. Why is that? Ah, okay, so we want this to be a 1. And a 1, and then 45. There, so we want it to pass it the, the axis, axes that we want it to rotate on, and then we pass it the degrees that they rotate. Alright, so, once we do that, as you can see now, it's rotated 45 degrees on the X and the Y axes, and that's what it's looking like. However, what if we only rotated it on the Y? Well, let's take a look at that. That's what it would look like. So as you can see, the directional light, the directional light is working, and now it actually looks 3D. So guys, that will do it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will be learning about cameras and how the camera works, and we'll also be learning about what's called a point light and any other light sources that Quorum offers. So anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.